making money, shit change. They acting like you don't deserve it. Bad bitch, run me down, I look at her, curve it. Chopping money, it's a big game. Reverse the mortgage. Dumping money, turn your ass into a target. Viral. Movie. Bad bitch, you be acting bougie. Two drums with the scope on it, beat it like little Uzi. Money, cars, clothes, jewelry. I lie. Fully. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a uh, one, a blessed and wonderful Friday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning and my peeps have a story for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So watch this now my peeps uh, to the name of Friday the day when Mr. Michael smile pan some of the ones and ones them pack it. So whilst you're out there traversing these streets, please safe travel, pan the gravel, and as always, look out on a corner yai kazwa. The old dirty corner boy them. Always out there. Alerts, yeah man me I tell you. So in the morning, I'm a peep, so this morning's story coming out of the breadbasket parish of our great nation. We are talking about the parish of St. Elizabeth. And it is really sad, my peeps, when we see a parish like St. Elizabeth narrow down to what it has become. Where criminal elements roam rampant and freely and knockings and clappings has become normalized. Why may I tell you, my peeps? It's rough. Now we are going to talk about a knockings and clappings are going and a body that was found yesterday. Now the police stated that the body was found sometime around 9.30 a.m. along the Alpart Main Road in Nain, St. Elizabeth. The police stated that upon their arrival, the body was found laying face down along the roadside, clad in a black long sleeve hoodie t-shirt type of thing, a blue long jeans pants and a pair of red and black and green slippers. So the police them said, boy, this looks spooky. Somebody near him food and broke the plate right there, so. Because some 9mm spin casing was found beside the body. So you know, say a straight dirt settings was the odd of the day. Now the man who was found lifeless along the roadside has since been identified as this man presently on your screen. He has since been identified by his birth name as Rohan Igar but more popularly known in the criminal underworld as YG Mastermind. Now this criminal element here is a known old dirty kind of boy, a known knackis and clappis. Yeah man. And as you can see, the tattoo on his chest clearly gives an understanding of his associates also now for those from the mobius space would definitely understand what the otf stands for and who he is aligned to in that parish and the criminal organizations that he's aligned with now you know say the whole cross parish type of situation are going right so you have known criminals who is not from Montego Bay, 
but is associated with them who is from another parish. So you don't know. So when time a man get hot over there, so him can go link him out to a friend in another parish and go build back. Now make we get down into the meat of the matter. Right and now. So his body was found along Alpart Main Road in Nain, St. Elizabeth. But the thing is, YG Mastermind is not from the parish of St. Elizabeth. He's from a housing scheme in Manchester known as Chudley. Now, how on earth did this man end up lose for him three pints all the way on a roadside in a St. Elizabeth? Well, let me tell you now which part this has come from. But first, we have to go take a trip down memory lane so we can understand where it come from. Now, there was also a missing person report that was placed online all over social media of this man presently on your screen, whose name is Jason Neal, a.k.a. Rambo. And as I can see, he was last seen in St. Elizabeth Junction. Now his family members are claiming to say that they are worried sick as it relates to his whereabouts. They want to know where their family member is. Knowing fully well that their family member, Jason Neal, a.k.a. Rambo, is a old Dutty kind of boy himself. Now, the ones and ones they must have wonder where them two things here have to do with each other. Just sit back, relax, give me a chance. May I got tight in so you can understand the fullness. Now, the criminal element, YG Mastermind, had a verbal, then turn physical, then turn deadly altercation with a scammer from Chudley in Manchester. So yes, my peeps, all of this coming from scamming. Now, who remember this brother here presently on your screen? A man identified as Anthony Williams, a 51-year-old farmer, resident of Chudley Housing Scheme, in Manchester. Now it is said that this man is the father of the scammer that YG Mastermind had that physical turn deadly altercation with and how it became deadly. The man's father was a victim of the circumstance, a victim of the altercation with YG Mastermind. Now for those who remember the young man at the criminal element, the scammer that YG Mastermind had that altercation with, his father Anthony Williams was walking along the roadway in Chudley Housing Scheme sometime about 11.30 going on to midnight and he was pounced upon by criminal elements who opened fire hitting him all over his body leaving him lifeless along the roadside. And then a few days after, guess what took place? A double knockings and clappings go on at a bar at a place known as Fine Grass, which is pretty close to Chudley in the northeastern section of Manchester, where two men end up get dirt. Now, that was also a reprisal for the knockings and clappings of the scammer, where YG Mastermind and him have an altercation in a Manchester father. Right? You know, I understand what I say. Now, the double knockings and clappings are going to fine grass is also a reprisal for the other scammer youth, father. Now, the double knockings and clappings there, the police identified one of the men who end up losing three points as Steny Hutchinson, otherwise known as Dippy. Now, it is said that a man who was there 
when the father gets slapped with is related to persons who have an association with that bar. So uh, that's why the man them roll up and dirt settings was the order of the day where that is concerned. Now the man them going to go fire indiscriminately. So whole heap of people get can up and two end up drop out. Yeah man. So the ones and ones them, I'm pretty sure, are wait to understand how the missing person and YG tie in. Well, I got play a video clip for you. Know, and I want to know, look closely on that video clip. For the family members of Rambo, we claim to say Rambo missing, knowing fully well say Rambo is a old dirty kind of boy. Yeah, man, you can watch this and see Rambo in full action performing a robbery just a little bit before he went missing watch now on your screen unconfirmed reports suggest that this robbery was done by yg and also rambo <laughs> yeah man so the one in the black has been confirmed as jason neal aka rambo and the one in the hoodie is said to be that of YG mastermind. So, uno know say uno family member, a criminal. And for some reason, and the missing person thing, uno forget, for put pan it say that he was presently on bail for a robbery with aggravation and also illegal possession of firearm and ammunition and was supposed to be reporting to a station in St. Elizabeth three times a day and him stop report on his condition of bail. Wanna forget for talk about that little part tight there. Yeah man. So this criminal element here and YG mastermind are close friends. YG mastermind body was found yesterday. And it is said that they were last seen together going on another mission. But I guess that was a mission impossible, pun intended, because YG Mastermind is no longer among the land of the living. So we are just here wondering if Jason Neal, aka Rambo, fell victim just as his partner in crime yg mastermind yeah man so to the family members of jason neal aka rambo uno know so uno family is close associates with known criminal elements and points to note who remember I did a video on a criminal element where I get clap with on a ball field them finding body up on a ball field a boy known as Ansman. now Ansman is also a close associate of jason neal aka rambo and just for another point of information rambo's court date his next court appearance was yesterday yeah man and him not show up for the court appearance. Well, we never expect him to show up for the court appearance still because he stopped reporting unconditional bail a long time ago. So the family members them, I don't know. If you want to still have like a hope, you can still have like a hope. But you know, you know, you know family member and know same is a real criminal element in the place. So don't be surprised. If he's no longer among the land of the living. And sad to say this, you know, we know our own family and we love our family regardless of. But when our family members get involved in a them type of thing, you know, have to expect, and I would not say the unexpected, because once you live a certain lifestyle and you get involved in a certain things, expect the expected. Yeah, man, and just deal with it as it arise. Sad to say, but the truth is the truth. And only that alone I got set each and every one of us free. 
So anyway, my peeps, a word to the wise. So remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man. <laughs>